The LPGA Tour. From Magnolia Grove Golf Course at the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail in Mobile, Alabama. It's live final round action of the Mitchell Company Tournament of Champions. The week belongs to Pat Hurst. At the 18th. Get up. Get Kornikova of golf and you know when you are involved in as many things as she is off the golf course I mean that's a that's a good comparison come on, come on, come on. you can't home. make it anymore but she's a winner and she makes 30 look at this call a creamer <laughs> pull out to win the open that's ah, pretty big and that's pretty well done Come on. Can she do it again here? Oh, come on. No! <laughs> Hurst there at 11 under. Annika Sorenstam, Suzanne Pedersen, and Birdie. A moment ago, Jamin Kang for Birdie at 15. Jamin, five under on her round. Fast putt, but Go. a little bit into Go. the grain. Go! Come on. Go. It's a difficult day for Lorena Ochoa. This is her second. She's two over on her round. Just really hasn't found her stride this week. Didn't hit the ball all that great on Friday. Thursday struggled with the putter. Well, for Raina Choa for Bernie. Right straight back uphill. Yep. And Lorena the four Ooh. under par, one Shot over. Here. Got it. Ooh. <laughs> Motion for that new movie. Yeah, there you go. Downhill putt moving just from right to left. Nicely done. Ginger tonight. Natalie Golbus over at the 15th. This her second. Is Natalie the type of player that you could see being a consistent winner out here as well? I think so too. I I, I do. Uh, the weeks that Natalie drives the golf ball well, especially. Good shot there. Setups on on the tour that you can you can pick and choose your weeks if you're not a bomber. There you go. Green pitching back uphill. It's been a good one. Monica Sorenstam on the tee at 14. This par three plays 132 yards. Best tee off a little bit on the left hand side of the tee because tree does filter. Ooh, that's looking nice. Nearly made an ace. While we were away, Birdie Kim on the tee at the 17th. Birdie is tied for second place at 11 under. Come back. How far is it going to come back? Far enough. Far enough to make Birdie. Make Birdie at the 10th. Two in a row. Birdie to 11 at hers for par drove at it 13. Left. Yeah, drove it left in the trees, had to take an unplayable, punched it down the fairway, wedged it onto here. Second unplayable of the day and second uh, rather unroutine. Next one there. 34 in the front for Pat as well. And she's now... Wow, that's ugly. And this a moment ago. That was her only option, just to gouge it out of there and get it in the fairway and set up a third. Oh, very good posture. Well, she's pulled that one. There's a mound it could kick right off. She'll have a chance to save game over. And no one else put a lot of pressure on her. Thursday, she will not equal the tournament record, but she will get her second win of the year and the fourth. Didn't think so. Hey, we got the NorCal connection going here today. It's a big theme of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. Well, spectacular things are happening to Paula Kramer. Eight-shot winner at the Mitchell Company Tournament of Champions. Let's take a look at some of the highlights. What a performance by Paula Creamer. One here as a junior.